Happy Friday, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't know what you're going through today, but um, I'm experiencing some heartaches, pain, sorrow, again. And I know I'm not the only one. Um, spoke with um, a friend a little while ago. She called me, she's like, Latina, can you help me? with maybe selling my mom's house. And so I'm like, yeah, sure. I was um, sitting on my front uh, porch on my swing, reading this book, trying to find some um, encouragement, strength, hope. And, um, you know, she was telling me about the struggles that they're having, taking care of her very elderly mom has been dealing with depression and I'm just like thinking wow everybody is going through something so I'm going to bring the word of God to hopefully um, cheer you up and point us to our rock and refuge our solid ground who does not change even if you know, the winds are howling, amen, there's a storms, um, and the waves are crashing all around us. We can stand secure in perfect peace, even in the midst of heartache, when we have Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I got a little emotional when I pulled up and I realized, like, oh my goodness, wow. This home here belonged to um, my associate pastor when I was a kid in Lakeland, Florida, Florida, when I first moved here to America. And I'm just like, wow, they raised their children here. I haven't seen the inside yet, but it, it's just like all hitting me like this world is so small. You know, I was a kid, age nine, 10, um, part of, 13, 15, 16, 17 when I was there at the St. Paul Lutheran um, Church and um, the associate pastor that was in that church owned this house and it just dawned on me like how precious this property is. So, um, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but maybe all these years of course God knew right I mean we could have never known um, like 30 years ago that God would see this day that I might be the realtor to list my associate pastor's house and he passed away a long time ago um, but his wife my friend's mom is um, alive and she's taking care of her right now but this is their home it's pretty special. I can't wrap my mind around it. But anyways, I'm getting off track. I wanted to bring the Word of God to build us up, to encourage our hearts in this time of trials and testings and sorrows and pain. You know, whether it's diseases, sickness, um, relationship, finances, or whatever. Let me turn on the AC a little bit. And... Um, our God is faithful, and I pray that you will find comfort in His Word, His promises. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer by Joseph M. Scriven. What a friend we have in Jesus. I wish I had that song on right now. I love that song. But truly, you know, we really can't run you know to other people because they've got their own issues and they can't really help us um, help soothe our hearts our soul um, only Jesus can do that when we have the Prince of Peace you know we have his perfect peace that surpasses all understanding through every storms of life trials of life amen Lord, oh Lord, this heartache has swallowed me whole. I can't find a place where I am ever apart from it. Sadly, that's almost true. 
I can't imagine ever not feeling this way. And I can't remember what it was like to be carefree. I feel so helpless and I don't know where to find the will to take the next step. And this is where I am right now, seeking my father's will, wisdom, strength, courage to do what, what I need to do, what he desires me to do. Please lift us up in your prayer times, my family. Somehow, I do keep going, but it's as if I'm sleepwalking. Sometimes I do feel this way. And I don't know what will happen if I come out of this half haze. I know I need you more than ever. Isn't that the truth? I just need you to be here. I need you to hold me together. I need you to hold me. Be my comfort. Please, Lord, somehow soothe this soul of mine. Oh, my comforter in sorrow, my heart is faint within me. Jeremiah 8.18 Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. I feel like I'm Jeremiah sometimes. I wept so much. It's unbelievable. But at the same time, I mean, you have that joy. You know, the joy of the Lord is our strength, even in the midst of pain and tears. So I praise God. I praise God for the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift of joy, the spirit of joy. Amen. There are no shortcuts through grief, only a path along which our Lord himself has walked and will walk with us with his gentle strength. This is where I am right now. And um, I exhort you, my brothers and sisters that are going through some heartaches, some tough times right now, to just seek um, time alone, quiet time to, to be in His presence. Where the presence of the Lord is, there is freedom, there's strength, there's peace, there's joy, hope, and faith. He will strengthen those of us who wait upon Him. Amen. So we've got to abide in His presence to make it through these storms. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. Thank you, Lord. Even as my heart is full of sorrow, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing of your comfort. I admit sometimes I don't even realize you've come with your gentle touch until the moment passes. But I'm grateful for each bit of comfort you bring. Those blessed distractions, a hummingbird at the feeder, my pets needs and affections, and a visit or phone call from a friend, which just took place um, 45 minutes ago. These things gives me a break from the ever encroaching sadness and the reasons to keep going. People you've given me to love, skills and abilities, I have to contribute to help others and the sense of a future, however vague it might seem right now. All remind me that grief is not all there is to life, thank God. <laughs> Help me not reject these kindnesses from your hand, but allow them to become a part of my healing. 